Okay, I think it started. So this video is about how to use Google Draw and to create a reference grid over a portrait. Um, for the last project, you're gonna have a choice of images. And for some people, they really like drawing faces, drawing people. And on Google Classroom, I posted two pictures and I want to talk a little bit about how I draw portraits and what helps me. Um, not all of you have printers. So let's say you want to draw a portrait. You're trying to make it solid and you can't print it out and you want to just use your computer. So what you do is you go and you just do Google Draw, log in, and then it says create diagrams charts for free. So you get this uh, window that pops up. And so what I did on mine was I went to insert image. And what's really cool is you can just go search the web. So this pops up and then this little dialog box here. And what I like to do for portraits, especially when I'm doing pen is I Google uh, black and white uh, portraits. So I type it into the right hand side, enter, and you'll get all kinds of stuff. So I'd say scroll through, find one that you like. And then, well, let's say I want to draw this guy. You click it, and then you hit insert. All right, so it'll plop it into your drawing. Hopefully. I'm just thinking about it. Okay, there it shows up. So now I have the chance to drag it around. So now what you want to do is center it. So I've got this whole little box to go. Uh, do your best to put it in the middle. And how you know it's the middle is um, as I move it, the margins change. So on the left-hand side, I have an inch and a half. <laughs> on the right-hand side, I have an inch. And so I'm going to move it so that I have the same amount on each side. So we're talking about this gap right here. Um, uh, you can also just move that center point. So here's the center point of the image, and then there's five inches. I'm going to slide it up so that it meets right on the top. So there it is. I've got my portrait. So now what I want to do is put a grid on it for a reference, and I'll talk about why in a minute, but let's just talk about how to do it first. So here's my line tool. I will go right to the five inches, and um, I'm going to drag it down. So five straight down. There's my first line. Okay, it turned up black. Let's change it. So here's your colors. Let's make it white because the image is really dark. So we go to the line tool again. Uh, straight down from five. There's our midpoint. Okay. Um, it looks like I've got like a little line there by mistake, but that's okay. So see these purple dots? This is our midpoint. So let's make another line from our midpoint across. So now we've got four sections. And uh, the reason that this is helpful, we've got our midpoint for the face. Uh, vertically and horizontally. So let's add two more. Um, what we're going to do is take this space and split it in half. Um, so there is a ruler on the side if you want to try to use it. Um, you can kind of see it goes one, two, three, and it looks like it's three and a half. So if I were to split three and a half uh, into a half, we would get 1.75 or one and three quarters. So if you want to do the math, it's totally fine. You can eyeball it. Um, you can just kind of take your mouse try to find your midpoint and then put it across. And it looks to me like it goes almost right across his eye line. And I'll do the same thing for the mouth. If you wanna use the ruler, if you're into fractions, do that. If you're really not, go ahead and just eyeball it. So now we've got all these sections. All right, so what you do next is you set up your piece of paper the same way. Um, I made two examples and I can post these for you as well. I'm gonna hold it up so you can kind of see and I'll post another video of how to make this part in a minute. So we've got the same amount of sections on my paper as I do on my image on my computer. Um, so I'm gonna pause it there, and then we will take a look at the actual paper. No, no.